Euless police say family members of the officer killed in a drunk driving crash are improving after they were injured in the crash as well. Police say Alex Cervantes' children are out of the hospital. They also say his wife is improving, but she still hasn't regained consciousness. She doesn't know her husband is dead. Fox 4's Dion Anglin live tonight with more. Dion. Yeah, definitely a difficult week for the city of Euless and its police department. And as you mentioned, more information released today about the fallen officers, wife and children. Just a, a, a total and complete shock and just senseless, senseless waste of life. The emotion and sadness hard to escape as Euless Police Chief Mike Brown gave an update. Just the kind of guy that, that came every day with a true heart for service. On the loss of seven-year department veteran Alex Cervantes, killed after a suspected drunken driver crashed into the vehicle carrying the officer's family. Since the Saturday collision in Lake Worth, Officer Cervantes' wife has yet to regain consciousness, but her condition is said to be improving. Alex's wife's condition has been upgraded to stable, uh, she is still sedated and not able to communicate with her family. I'm not able to speak to her injuries or her treatment, but we are hopeful she'll be able to communicate with us soon. Chief Brown says the Cervantes' children, two sons, 10 and 11 years old, are out of the hospital and with relatives recovering from their injuries. He adds no decisions about memorial services will be made until Mrs. Cervantes can communicate. The family's wishes are that no decisions about services and honors be made until she is able to make those decisions. Mementos at a growing memorial highlight the somber fact that Officer Cervantes would have celebrated his 37th birthday Tuesday, November 30th, just three days after he was killed. Meantime, Lake Worth police continue investigating whether suspected drunken driver Dylan Molina was overserved at a restaurant where he'd been minutes earlier. Police say he was fleeing the parking lot after hitting another vehicle. Police say Molina admitted to having three double vodka drinks in two hours at Fuzzy's, but based on records of his spending there, investigators believe he was served more than that. Also part of the investigation, Lake Worth police called our attention to a post on Molina's Facebook account made in March, a game result speculating he would in the future die from too much alcohol. And his last words would be, can I have one last shot of tequila? Euless PD, meantime, remembering a noble servant. As we go those few steps without him, we realize just how dependent we were on him for his uh, for his service the essence that, that that made him who he was now the Euless police department has established avenues through its social media platforms for the public to make donations to the family financially if they wish to